Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I went back to my original name. I was hesitant on going back and I kept debating it. And then one of you lovely subscribers texted me and said something and that was it. That was my answer I needed. So I went back to Divine Elemental. <clears throat> um, my personal readings I'm going to get through this week after Halloween, guys. Uh, sorry, I haven't been posting. My uncle passed away, so I apologize for not posting. Um, but yeah, it's all Hollow's Eve, and I figured it's been a long day, and you guys deserve a reading. So we're going to start with the Hearts Hidden Secrets Oracle deck. God, Michael, Spirit, connect me to the collective at this time. Anything they need to know for their highest and greatest good. Anything the collective needs to know, God, Michael, Spirit. God, Michael, Spirit, anything the collective needs to know for their highest and greatest good. We have shocking, turmoil, trouble, unexpected. This is like the tower card. Look at releasing, letting go, moving on, walking away, breaking point, limit, final straw, overwhelmed. And then we have this lovely one popping out. Curse, hex, witchcraft, negative mind. <clears throat> 144 could be significant. So the curse wanted to come out. Some of you could be um, banishing evil spirits or entities at this time. Because um, I actually heard when I put this down, the power of Christ compels you. You know, like in the old exorcism movies and all that. They always do that with the holy water. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> Longing, craving, aching, wanting. It's very important to... Protect your energy, guys. Realize how powerful you are. Co-creators of your own life, your own universe. Oh, by the way, guys. These uh, bracelets are pretty cool. They're from Auto Spirit. And um, in the description box there's actually a discount code i think it's monica 20 if i'm not mistaken but it's really good quality of the beads i like them my only dilemma is you see they're kind of tight and i have tiny wrist um and then right here this is another thing how the pieces of the bracelet is sticking out it's in another one too i can't really see but i really like the quality of them because I have this one that I got off of Amazon. But it's nothing compared to the quality of this. These ones. So go check out Otter, Otter Spirit, guys. And don't forget to use the code in the description box. This one happens to be the money bracelets. Um, but they have, like, different ones. They have Zodiac pendants. Uh, sorry, Zodiac bracelets. And, like, different ones. And they give you like an email or pamphlet to take care of the bracelets so they don't get ruined either. Go check them out, guys. Stress, turbulence, tension, arguments. I just heard family. God, Michael Spirit. God, Michael Spirit, what else does the collective consciousness need to know at this time? Be yourself, I'm hearing. I just saw just be in my mind's eye. So some of you could be trying to overcompensate, like be more. Um, you don't need to. You just need to be. We have ecstasy, chasing thrills, excitement, good time. I'm getting that song Good Time by Nico Moon, I think his name is. We just trying to have a good time. 
lusting, forbidding, non-committal sexual energy. Let's get one more, darling. All right, two more. Karma, consequences, cause and effect, debts, silence, frozen, no words, stonewall. Apple pie moonshine could be significant. In that song, he talks about it. <clears throat> Hold on one sec, guys. Let me fix the cards. Sorry. You see the Halloween tablecloth I'm using? The cobwebs. I love Halloween. Intimacy, bonding, sensual, confiding. Oh, some of you um, are craving this type of intimacy. Exhaustion, depleted, drain, long journey. This could be spiritual exhaustion as well. Hold on, guys. I gotta get my cards. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm in between two households right now. So, I... Pack my stuff in a bag and it's wrapped with rubber bands. <sighs> All right, we're gonna use the beginner's tarot deck. God, Michael Spirit, what is this beautiful collective need to know at this time? What is this beautiful collective need to know at this time? I feel like some of you are gaining clarity, like having epiphanies that action is required. You can't just, um, you know, hocus pocus, you know, bam, and what you want comes to you. You guys are realizing that it does take effort. The moon, justice, excuse me, 811 could be significant, 1811, eight of pentacles. I also, I just got that some of you are leveling up as well. King of Pentacles, Five of Five of Cups, Page of Wands is on the bottom of the deck, Six of Swords, Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Why the moon? Upright or reverse? Upright or reverse? The tower in reverse. So this is resist changes, avoiding disasters, postponing the inevitable, avoiding loss. So you guys could be doing this based off of fear. Illusions, misunderstandings. Well, look. This is the tower card in this deck, and you, you're you clarified with the tower in reverse. Yeah, look, eight of swords. There's a mental entrapment going on here, debating back and forth whether or not to pursue something, go for something. Could be feeling like a missed opportunity, having a lack of... Optimism. Why the justice? Two of pentacles. So two cards of balancing here. So some of you are going back and forth on whether, like trying to have a positive mindset, but the negative mindset is definitely taking over. Some of your integrity too, like who you are when no one's looking. Honesty, being honest with yourself about losses, profits, so money as well. Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Four of Cups, the world. Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's time to close out cycles. It's time to close this victim mentality out too. The Queen of Wands is a very confident, energetic, 
go-getter energy. Like she stands in that divine feminine energy where she knows that she attracts. Even though this is all about taking action, she's aware that everything will come to her. Um, also with the black cat, this is also known as like the witchy queen in the deck. So some of you could be witches. Um, I just heard uh, Cami or Camille. Um, sunflowers could be significant. Starburst sunflowers could be significant. Or the Starburst candy. Judgment, yeah. Epiphanies. Why the Eight of Pentacles? Upright or reverse? Two of Wands. Yeah, it's finally just, uh, it's, it's coming, yeah, look, uh, five of ones. So you guys could be, have, oh my gosh, I can't talk. You guys could have been contemplating a new job, an employment change, um, like a move of some sort. And I feel like the divine is coming through, like it's time to make a decision. Like no more confusion. Um, it's time to set roots. Yeah, look, and I split the deck at the Ace of Pentacles, which is all about new beginnings here. Why the King of Pentacles? Someone wants to plant new roots with you as well. Planting roots for the future, I just heard. King of Pentacles, why the King of Pentacles? Why the King of Pentacles? The Hermit and the Knight of Cups. There could be a king of pentacles that is treading carefully, I just heard. Um, with expressing or giving romantic offers. It could be because they are going through a spiritual awakening, I'm getting. Um, I'm also getting that they're healing spiritually. And it could be in the form of um, dating commitment, like commitment issues, expressing themselves. They've been through a lot. I feel like someone's really gathering their strength to be truthful with you. Yeah, they see you as a great team. Um, this could be a divine masculine as well that feels a sense of urgency to start planting roots as well. Split the deck at the lover's. So respect is mutual here. Nine of Pentacles. Your Divine Masculine could be a female. Doesn't have to be. There's no gender in Terra. Look. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, wanting to plant roots with you. I keep getting. Why the Five of Cups? God, Michael Spirit, why the Five of Cups? This is giving me, like, drinking your sorrows. Like, I feel like, um... Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Six of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, someone definitely wants to start laying down a new foundation, giving to this connection. I'm getting someone's employment change is going to start turning in their favor, like financially, because the Six of Pentacles is all about the rich guy giving to the poor, but the Wheel of Fortune could actually mean like karma is going to start turning in your favor for you to get your dharma. Um, I'm getting to open your heart, though. Follow your heart's true desire is what I'm getting. And it will help you with your choices. With your choices, with your income. Um, I'm getting like health in my mind's eyes as well. Why the six of swords? The six of swords. We have the wheel of fortune. The six of pentacles and the page of pentacles all flipped out.
So this could be you or your person um, not wanting it to be about sex, like this relationship just to be about sex. I'm getting like an equal give and take. Um, even if it's starting small, Yeah, someone, someone doesn't just want you, I just heard, um, just for a lay, they want to lay a foundation with you. Um, there could be people that have a problem with that, but I'm also getting self-sabotage. The star with the three of cups. I just heard healing threesomes. So maybe some of you, and I'm not saying that this is bad or wrong, guys, to each his own. Um, but I feel like some of you have an attraction towards, like, multiple people in the bedroom. This could be you or your person. And I do feel like it's starting to, like, someone's wanting to fix that. There's definitely some healing around that. The number 17 could be significant. Or 8, page of pentacles, yeah. I feel like you or your person, um, you guys are being patient with each other, like with yourselves, um, while you're healing through the processes. I feel like this is a collective that is definitely further along in their journey. Um, and they, they're realizing how things take time. Not everything is black and white. The spiritual journey is not written out for us, you know? Um, and I feel like you guys are just rolling with the punches and realizing that pain is progress and um you can't have peace without suffering guys that's just the truth of the matter and honestly we need that especially as humans because we are flawed in a sense um to where we appreciate things more when we have to work for it when we haven't had it you know what i mean um I keep being called to ask what energy you guys are in. I want to ask. Okay. God, Michael, Spirit, my collective watching right now, what energy are they in? What energy are they in currently for the collective? God, Michael, Spirit, what energy? King of Wands. So that go-getter energy. Now, remember, the King of Wands doesn't have to just mean masculine energy. The Kings in Tarot is like the highest um, form of whatever the card means. So basically, if we're talking about being energetic, charismatic, confident, go-getter, the King of Wands is above the Queen of Wands when it comes to that. It just means that you're in this energy where it's head on. Two of Swords, Five of Wands. So the energy that you guys are in is conflicted on whether or not to go for something. Um, there's definitely a blockage, a decision, and it could be whether or not to, to start with this new beginning. And it could be because you're coming out as the page multiple times, like there's only so very little to offer, but that's all about the groundwork. Um, it's actually bringing me to the first thing I ever posted on my community tab um was rock bottom became the foundation to which i built my whole life on which was a quote from jk rowling the lovely billionaire that created harry potter series um and by the way she started writing that on a napkin in a coffee shop and she was a single mom with a daughter and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, like, I knew she was struggling. I'm not sure if she was struggling to the point where she was about to lose her house. But she was 30 years old when she started writing this series. So, it doesn't matter what society says you have to do in what order. Um, it just matters that you do it, guys. Uh, and it's, it's bringing me to this thing I saw on Instagram. Um, my twin actually posted it on her Facebook. But it was steps of failure, 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 failure. But as long as you don't give up and you keep going, you will eventually reach success. The only way you truly fail is if you give up. God, Michael, Spirit, why the Ace of Swords? King of Wands and the Two of Swords.
you're gaining clarity, guys. You're starting to see the truth breakthroughs about um, the decisions you decide to make. You know, being accountable and realizing you have to pay your debts. Uh, past life, I just heard. Past life karma. Past life debts. Well, look, five of wands. I was going to clarify the Knight of Swords. We have the Lovers and the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords. So this is a very spiritually based connection with the Lovers and the High Priestess coming out. Um, we have the Nine of Swords on the bottom. So yeah, you guys are in your head about whether or not... Sorry, guys. Um, whether or not this connection is going to last. If it's going to end... Um, I think some of you are afraid of it ending abruptly. Um, some of you could be afraid of being ghosted as well. Secrets being kept. You're definitely in your head, but be, yeah, nine, nine could be significant. Look, nine of wands, nine of swords, five of pentacles here. And then we have temperance on the bottom with the queen of wands. Yeah, you guys are needing to be patient. You guys are needing to balance out your masculine and feminine energies. We do have counterparts coming out um, with the king and queen of wands. But um, yeah, we have justice here, which is making things right in the 3D. And we saw judgment, which is making things right in the spiritual realm. But I feel like you guys need to remember that you guys are co-creators. We are all co-creators of our own universe, of our own world. And I feel like the high priest is coming out with the lovers is just a reminder of that. You guys manifested each other. You and your person, the life that you wanted, what you created. You cannot live in fear and anxiety because that is also going to be created, guys. So, um... Just be aware of that. I want to just get one card, though, for this one. Why the Knight of Swords? Why the Knight of Swords for the Collective? God, Michael, Spirit, why the Knight of Swords? 22 could be significant. Yeah, look. This is what flipped out first. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles is over here. So there is a new beginning here in the 3D. Pentacles is all about life, long, long-term, children, that kind of thing. Um, money. Uh, I feel like... I feel like you guys are afraid to jump into things very quickly because it might end in silence, which I'm guilty of this too with my twin, um, where I, I tread carefully. Like, I don't say things um, that are... Uh, not that I'm lying, but it's it's lying by omission because I keep quiet about how I feel about certain things because I'm afraid that she's going to take off running. Like if it's too much or like I come on too strong and I feel like um, some of you could have that issue as well is that you want you don't want to come off too strong. You know, I'm getting that song by Andy Grammer, uh, Grammer Fine By Me. It's fine by me if you never leave. And we can live like this forever. It's fine by me. So I feel like you guys are trying to be real chill about taking a leap of faith, like wanting this, like the lovers. Um, but I do feel like God, the universe, whoever you go by, um, is coming through and saying that you can express yourself. Yeah, strength. Let that ego down, you know, like heal that ego, have the strength, the confidence to say how you feel. Look, the sun, if someone makes you happy, express that to them. 19 could be significant or 10, um, 919 as well. I was going to clarify the four of pentacles and look what we have, the 10 of pentacles. And look, intimacy. King of swords. Three of pentacles, nine of cups, seven of cups. Yeah, there's a king of swords that's planning for the future, guys. Look, king of pentacles, king of swords, king of wands. Like, this is a masculine coming through here. 
um, that's planning for the future. They have a lot of options in their head, trying to figure out which way to go. But at the end of the day, this Ten of Pentacles, merging families, creating the families, having pets, um, that kind of thing, they're holding on to that. Look, I just split the deck at exhaustion again. Distance, separation, space, blockage. Some of you could be in separation, divine masculine, yang, masculine energy for sure. Some of you could actually be divine masculines as well. Um, let me get some. Let's get some. Hold on, guys. Let me get some advice for you guys, but. My cards on the side. What do we got going on here? Okay, let's do Romance Angel Oracle. God, Michael Spirit, what's going on? What's going on in this collective? We have Let Your Friends Help You. Ask for and accept support from others. I know you can't really see these cards with the light, but. We have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I'm also hearing that you can trust this person, guys. Some of you may choose otherwise, but. Look at this reconciliation right on top of the Ace of Pentacles. Someone from your past is returning to your life. It's fine by me if you never leave. Heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And this is that thing I was telling you about that I think some of you hold back. You're afraid because you might push your person to run but you can't be afraid of that especially if you guys are already in um this reconciliation phase where things are working through this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek and we have separation time apart from your person is on the horizon i feel like this is already happening for a lot of you as well but again there is consequences to actions not being taken guys so just remember that don't live in fear but um also follow god's guidance follow the universe's guidance unrequited love there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going i was about to say romance going um i want to see what that's all about though Some of you could have dealt with a partner that did give in to temptation, like a third party situation, especially with this lusting ecstasy type of thing. Because on the bottom of this deck that I originally got, I gave in to temptation. So some of you could be dealing with that. Um, that's not for all of you. Let's get some channel messages for you guys. And then we'll close this out, guys. If you haven't already, hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video, share this content if you're called to it. Um, I do have a Patreon. The link is in the community tab and the description box. Um, and yeah, I post 18 plus readings on there and general collective readings as well. I'm going to be doing the tarot, teaching tarot. I have not posted any videos on that yet, though. I miss you deeply. I don't want to fight anymore. God, Michael Spirit, nothing was... Okay. Yeah, look, guys. Can we start fresh? I hope my friends like you. I want to feel what it would be like to be in a relationship with you. I love your smile. I want to take you out on a date. It's fine by me If you never leave We can live like this way. 
whatever he's done by me. Oh, Michael Spears. Nothing was holding back the collective. Collective's person. What would they express to the collective at this time? Guys, remember now all of these messages will resonate. Just take with us. I miss you very deeply. So someone really misses you. Oh, I miss you very much. Could be dealing with an air sign. Fire sign. I never thought a love like ours existed in real life until I felt you. I am grateful for you and to you. Guys, don't forget to be grateful. Not just for your person, but the things that you already have in your life. The people you already have. Even if it's little, it's still something. I think about you every day. Then we have, I've cried over you. Alright guys, hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video, share this content. Peace.